Did you know that it's the 40th anniversary of the TMNT? Well, if you're a TMNT fan, you probably already knew that. But if you were just a fan of Rise of the TMNT, you probably didn't know that. Because Rise of the TMNT fans aren't really fans of the Ninja Turtles, they're only fans of Teen Titans Go with a TMNT skin on top. There's a reason why I think this. To celebrate the 40th anniversary, IDW Publishing put together something really special. They released a huge compilation of TMNT stories that celebrated the many different iterations of the Turtles. I provided some of my thoughts on the book at Tataruzu.com. It's a $12 book, and it has a lot of content. A lot of art, and a lot of love went into it. Overall, it's a fantastic compilation. There were a few disappointments, I'm not going to lie about that, but I still think it's worth a buy if you consider yourself a TMNT fan. One of the special things that they did for the book was a Rise of the TMNT story by Andy Suriano, one of the minds behind Rise of the TMNT. Now, I could see why this was a mistake from a mile away. On Twitter, I said, I don't even know why IDW is bothering to include a Rise story for fans who will never buy the issue. We all know that Rise fans are children who never monetarily support the franchise. They never bought the toys, and they never buy any comics. It's time to cut off the leeches. I followed up with, It's just a wasted slot for what could have been another Mirage era story. It just makes no sense to pander to the lowest common denominator when there are so many adults holding bags of cash willing to pay for anything tangentially related to Mirage. Of course, at the time, Rise fans didn't want to admit their shortcomings. I had a couple replies to this tweet from Rise fans. One person said, I'm a Rise fan and I'm not a kid. I will definitely be purchasing this issue if I can find it at my local comic shop. Now, this person was respectful in their reply, and I don't want to go too hard on them, but there is a subtlety in this reply that proves to me that this person, in fact, does not financially support the franchise. They said, quote, if I can find it at my local comic shop. If you regularly buy TMNT comics and you regularly support the franchise, you most likely would have a pull list, or at the very least, you would have requested a pre-order with your local comic shop. What it seems to me is that you don't typically buy any of the comics and you're only going to pick up this one comic because it has Rise, and even then, you weren't enthusiastic enough to guarantee a copy by pre-ordering it. You're just hoping your local comic shop happens to have it. And there was another reply. This guy said, Joke's on you. Many of us have it pre-ordered. Oh really? Many of you have it pre-ordered. Okay, okay. Let's see about that. A couple weeks went by and the comic was finally released. Someone posted a screenshot of the Rise story on Reddit. Do you want to guess what the comments were like? The post was inundated with comments from Rise fans who were completely blindsided and either didn't know that the comic even existed or didn't know that it was already out. Clearly these Rise fans are dedicated TMNT fans, right? One commenter said, I haven't seen this series yet. Which comic slash issue is this from? Another clueless commenter said something similar. They said, what issue is this from? So clearly they didn't have any idea whatsoever that a 40th anniversary comic was coming out. Hell, they might not even be aware that it is the 40th anniversary of the Turtles. 
There were others who acted like they knew about the issue, but were surprised that it was already out. One commenter said, Oh, is the 40th anniversary special out? And another said, Is the comic already out? Now, there are two things I want to say. First, you can say that these Redditors are only a small sample size, and you can try to cope by saying that these might not even be Rise fans, but I don't know, someone who isn't a fan of Rise probably wouldn't be in the comments asking for information about a Rise comic. They must be fans of Rise to some degree. And secondly, this is the 40th anniversary issue. If you want to rebuke my claim that Rise fans don't financially support the franchise, then you need to contend with the fact that at the very fucking least, they would have been aware of the date that the fucking 40th anniversary issue was coming out. If you're out there buying these comics all the time, and you're out there, you're supporting the franchise, you're buying the comics from IDW, then you knew this was coming. And look, if you don't buy the comics, that's fine. I don't expect every fan to buy IDW's comics, which are mostly mid anyway. But don't try to pretend like you're among the diehard fans who are the ones financially supporting the franchise. And the reason why I bring this up to begin with is that IDW made a mistake by including a Rise story instead of something like an additional Mirage story. If Rise fans don't want to support the franchise, I don't really care. They don't have to do that. They don't have to buy the comics. We can just leave them alone and not have anything to do with them. What I care about is IDW wasting a slot on these ungrateful people who never buy anything. And to drive this point home further, my Ninja Turtles channel pointed out something on Twitter. Rise fans are now bragging about pirating the comic and sharing it on social media because some people are too poor and don't have access. And some of these tweets, oh my god, they are just so hilarious. Something incredibly sweet about seeing Rise Twitter sharing the comic to those who can't get access to it. Oh yeah, it's really sweet to just spit in IDW's face like that after they went out of their way to pander to you. Yeah, that's real sweet of you guys. A lot of other people were coping with the fact that it won't hurt sales if just a few people who can't afford it pirate it instead. And you know what? I think I'll agree with that point just for one single reason. I knew from the start that this wouldn't get any sales from Rise fans, so I guess the fact that they aren't buying it doesn't mean that there are any sales that were lost. If I don't expect any sales from Rise fans to begin with, then it can't be considered a loss when they prove me right. But other people said really retarded shit like, Studies proved pri <laughs> piracy improved sales in the long run. That might be true for video games or maybe even music, but comic books? Hell no. Comic books have just gotten easier and easier to pirate with the advent and proliferation of the internet, and sales have only gone down the past several decades. There is no chance that piracy helps comic books in particular. This is just pure unadulterated copium. None of these studies even focus on comic books in particular. And even then, there are a lot of other studies that show piracy has a negative effect. There's no conclusive statistical consensus on this topic. And just to pretend like there is, especially with regards to comic books, is so disingenuous, and you are just so full of shit. And I love this last one here, because it just completely proves my original tweet correct. They said, like I said pretty much earlier, most of the fandom is composed by teens. Like, teens with money is not something you see every day. 
remember when that guy tried to tell me that many fans have pre-ordered it? Well, it looks like you were wrong. The Rise fans themselves are telling you that they are kids, they are poor, and they will not financially support the franchise. Rise fans are just entitled brats. They want us to bend over backwards for them and give them everything they want, and yet they've put nothing into this franchise. They can't even put $12 toward a comic that went out of its way to pander to them. Rise fans are fucking disgusting leeches. These people need to get out. Anyway, that's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.